Hey everyone, it's Jared Hillis from Edgar Sherman Design, and today we're gonna to do a deep dive on the Pebble Grip. So why would you want the Pebble Grip on your AR? So it's a little bit shorter grip, it's about a half inch overall uh, shorter than the granite, original granite grip and it lowers the signature of the firearm so you can fit it into smaller places like small carry bags like what I have or if you have uh, little small spaces in the car or something like that that you need to tuck it away. It also because it's shorter when you're deploying it from a bag it's less likely to get snagged up on its way out. The Pebble Grip is manufactured using 3D printing. So it's actually multi-jet fusion, nylon 12. Uh, it's extremely durable. Uh, we also have the skeletonized structure on the inside of the grip, so we can make it lightweight and still maintain durability. 3D printing allows us to design the grip in ways that you can't do with uh, standard injection molding. It allows us to do the same 360 texture that we had on the original granite grip. The front of the grip is flat with chamfered edges, which allows for a more ergonomic feel, but also a more consistent feel when you're mounting the rifle. The top to bottom tapers, which you can see right there, and that's because your hand naturally tapers as you're gripping around something. The space between your pinky and your palm is different than your uh, trigger finger in your palm, so when you're gripping around that, it just feels much more natural in your hand when you do that. So the grip angle of the pebble grip is 13.1 degrees. That was a grip angle that we landed on with the original granite grip, but when we were playing around with grip angles, we went from the extremes of precision shooting, which is basically straight up and down, all the way to the original A2 grip, which is extremely uncomfortable by today's standards, and we landed in that happy medium of 13.1 for it. So we just translated that into the pebble grip. A feature taken from precision shooting is that we have these thumb rests that are built into the sides of the grip. And that's so if you're taking a more precise shot, you actually have a place to rest that thumb rather than just having it float around. Again, the name of the game with accuracy is consistency. So if you have a set place to rest that thumb every time, then you're gonna be more consistent behind the gun. Some of the differences between the original granite grip and the pebble grip are on the granite grip, you can see there's a very pronounced hook on the bottom. So that's if you're shooting with a gloved hand, um, you're less likely to slip off the bottom of that. The hook on the pebble grip is a little bit less pronounced, but it's still there. So you can still feel it, it still drives your hand up into the firearm. So you have a little bit better control over that and you're less likely to slip off the bottom of the grip. If you wanna purchase a pebble grip, you can go to edgarshermandesign.com or you can go to our dealer network. If you're looking for a dealer that's local to you, you can go onto our website to our dealer locator and we'll point out one that's close to you. This is how they'll be hanging up in the store with the included hardware in the packaging. And then you can go in there and decide for yourself whether you want a fine grip texture or the coarse grip texture. If you wanna purchase the Pebble Grip from our website, it'll come with a grip, your included hardware in a baggie, and this informational card. It's available in fine texture and coarse texture. You'll have Cerakote options available in the future. And if you need any help with installation, we'll link it in the video to our last Granite Grip video and we'll do a deep dive on how to install it into an AR-15. All right, thanks for watching. You can follow us on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. Also join us on our newsletter for more information about new products coming out. Uh, we also have a blog, and if you run a Pebble Grip on one of your builds, go ahead and tag us on Instagram.